good afternoon from a very happy meal. I have to say I'm in the Canary Islands and I'm super happy, of course, because where else would you want to be? Oh, nowhere else I'd want to be, let me tell you. So, this morning, I flew down here, or no, I flew over here, with been to Canarias, and you'll have already seen that video. Very impressed, fairly short 23 minute flight. Not much by way of in-flight catering, a packet of biscuits, but then what you expect for 20 minutes. But the other airline that catches my notice is Canary Fly. Now the interesting thing with Canary Fly is they're very similar in their operations. So they have very similar aircraft to Binta, very similar but smaller route network, very similar pricing. And I kind of think with airlines, if you're going to compete with an airline, what makes you different? So I've flown with Binta many, many times and therein lies the clue because when you think about inter-island hopping in the Canaries, Binta is always the one I go to. Canary Fly, never tried them before, never flown with them, so I thought, I'll give them a go, why not, while I'm here, and whilst I'm still sober, before I meet up with some friends back in Tenerife later this evening. And that's going to be messy, because it's my last night on the island, sadly. So, let's go and check out Canary Fly. This will be uh, the second to last flight I take while I'm down on this trip. Uh, so it'll be a very sad, unhappy Neil tomorrow, let me tell you, because I always hate going home. So, anyway. Let's get to it. Let's go and check out Canary Fly. See what you think. La Palma Airport, like me, likes its space. Whilst it doesn't currently have a priority pass lounge, it does have this excellent viewing platform with tables and chairs to while away the hours. You can even have a beer. As well as inter-island services, La Palma receives direct service from mainland Spain, Germany, Belgium and the United Kingdom. One of the two daily Munich flights is of particular interest, as it's on a 757-300. And frankly, who doesn't love a 757? Here's a gratuitous shot of a Condor 757 that I myself flew on a few years ago from Munich to Berlin, albeit under different ownership back then of course. Back to today's aircraft, which is a 12-year-old ATR 72200, which is well presented and, as I said earlier, one of just two aircraft currently in service with Canary Fly. And while we're talking about gratuitous shots, yep, here am I, well-toned, sort of, legs. With the safety demo complete, it's a rapid taxi out to departure. Today's 26 minute flight sees us at a maximum altitude of just 9,000 feet, with the usual approach into Tenerife North. So let me tell you a little bit about Canary Fly. The airline was formed in 2008 and is based on the island of Gran Canaria. They have a small fleet of six ATR 72200s and compete directly on exactly the same routes as Binta Canarias. Unlike Binta Canarias, Canary Fly does not offer in flight movie streaming or indeed any form of in flight catering. However, if cash is king, then Canary Fly offers a compelling alternative, as I found Canary Fly to be up to 50% cheaper than Binta on very similar routes on very similar dates. As with Binta, island residents get significant discounts and fares on this route start from just 10 euro. If you're not a resident, typically you'll pay four times the resident price. Another excellent reason for me to come and live here. As we approach the lush greenery of Northern Tenerife, I'll pipe down to let you enjoy the landing.
So all that remains to say is Canary Fly, absolutely ideal for low-cost flying around the islands. See you next time. Bye for now.